As we just heard, the state's guidelines for businesses to reopen are strict and demand high testing and tracing capabilities. Counties throughout the valley will remain far behind at this point for that criteria established by the state. Nonetheless, local businesses, including restaurants, where they're ready to rip the locks off their doors. Our Jocelyn Moran joins us live from the Crack Pepper Bistro in North Fresno. And Jocelyn, the owner there, already coming up with his own dine in guidelines, even though the state has yet to reveal theirs. That's right. The owner says that he's preparing as much as he can. He's already purchased face shields and has separated the table, so there is that six foot distance in between. All this so that they can be ready for when they get that green light to start reopening. But whatever is necessary, um, if we, we need to check our temperatures or staff, customers' temperature, we're, we have a thermometer we've already purchased and we're ready for it. Restaurants throughout the valley have been suffering economically. At Crack Pepper Bistro, the owner says sales have dropped by 75 percent and that takeout is not something they can rely on. Although there is no date as to when restaurants could reopen for dine-in, he's purchased face shields for his employees, thermometers, and has separated the tables with one table in between that won't be used. Looking at just the capacity of restaurants, we're probably going to have to keep that capacity much more limited so spacing can take place for customers and employees. Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magsig says the local California restaurant Restaurant Association has been working with the county and the Department of Public Health in regards to guidelines that would need to be put in place. And Newsom today said if counties have plans set in place while following the state's guidelines, restaurants could reopen for dine-in soon. They put the tracing and tracking, they put the surge plans together, they have strategies to protect the most vulnerable, and they have trigger plans and measurements that allow them to pull back, uh, and they abide by these guidelines, and they prepare for them. Uh, we can see that happening in the next week or so. But something restaurants locally also recognize is that it's not just about reopening. It's also about gaining the trust of customers. I think that's really important and how businesses are going to, you know, gain the public trust as well. Uh, that they know that we are taking all of these procedures and the, the procedures to keep everybody safe uh, seriously. And Governor Newsom said that next Tuesday they hope to release guidelines as to what modifications and rules restaurants will need to follow when it comes to dining in. Live in Fresno, I'm Jocelyn Moran, KC24, local news that matters.